Well, shopping smart can also mean sticking to a budget and also managing your credit when hitting the stores this season. Our Family Financial Sense expert and author of A Parent's Guide to Raising CEO Kids, Sarah Cook, is here to share some great ideas on achieving good money management skills during the holidays. Hi, Sarah. Hello. And I want to know, you know, the holidays, is, as we can all imagine, it's probably a really good time to help build credit, but what should somebody do if they should actually be rebuilding credit? Well, you know what? Some people get cash gifts for the holidays, mm -hmm. and so I would suggest rather than going spending those, take those and do it um, and implement a technique called snowballing uh -huh. to start repaying those bills that you have building up and start giving your gift of financial freedom okay so if you were lucky enough to get a cash gift don't go buy yourself some item for the holidays actually use that to kind of chisel away at the debt that you exactly. currently accrued exactly. okay now what if someone goes and they're checking their credit report maybe kind of trying to plan for the holiday shopping maybe even to the whole new year before tax right day. what should they do if they find an error on their credit report you know, if they find an error they should be starting to write some letters. They should write letters saying, here's what's wrong, here's what needs to be fixed, and they should provide documentation, keep all the original receipts for themselves, and then schedule a follow-up plan on their calendar to make sure that, that the investigation takes place and they're getting that cleaned up. Okay, so they need to build a case, though. Yes. So they need to be able to have that uh, that uh, credible evidence that what is being reported is not accurate. A exactly. And then report that, and then stay on top of stay it. Stay on top of it. Okay. All right. So as people um, go out to do their shopping, though, how do you suggest that they really try to manage their their payments and their credit during the holiday shopping season? Because when, especially when we see all these great deals, right, coming up in the next day or two, you it's know, a it's a little crazy. It's, yeah, it gets a little crazy. <laughs> so what? we've done in our family is we schedule those bills in advance so mm -hmm. use bill pay or you know whatever service your bank offers to schedule those payments in advance so they're taken care of and that way you don't get hit with late fees and then mm -hmm. interest charges and those all cost you more money so just take care of that in advance so you don't have to worry about it okay so when it comes to making your payments make sure you have that as like your first priority plan ahead exactly for that. plan ahead okay and then maybe make a budget for while we're shopping exactly definitely make a budget for while you're shopping mm -hmm. and make sure you stick with in that budget exactly <laughs> don't go beyond don't that go beyond budget. The budget yeah it's, and what are some things that we should be really careful of though uh, when it comes to our finances out when we're out there shopping you know I think something that for people that have a little bit of a hard time you know using their credit card and not mm -hmm. going crazy I suggest an envelope system it's worked in the past for lots of people when you're out of the money that's in the envelope you're out of shopping for that person oh and so that's really easy and if, it, if you're doing it online then you'll just you can even prepay to the card you're you know you're using use your debit card yeah and same thing when you're out of you know out of money for that person then, then that's it you're not bankrupting your budget you're not you know yeah. going in the red on black friday you're staying in the black with your budget on black that's friday. great i love the tactile way of doing that it's great for kids too yeah <laughs> no because it's so real when you actually have something tangible mm -hmm. i mean i think that that's what makes it so easy to spend on a credit card it does, is that it's just like woo it's air and it you know just keeps coming exactly but when you have an envelope open you have money in there and you physically see okay I'm done I'm done I All can't out. yeah there, there we go and what are you doing with your family for the holidays then? what we're doing is we're cooking at home we have some friends they're coming over to join us and so they're gonna help cook as well we have a great big wall that we are listing all of our gratitudes uh -huh. on and um, we're just enjoying some time at home playing yeah, games. you're doing the family time and kind family of spending time. that time with friends as well yeah uh, how are you doing your shopping how we're doing our shopping actually is kind of similar to this the uh -huh. kids are gonna be able to do this with their own budgeting but but we've made it we've made a budget for each member of the family and when you know they have a list but the gifts are going to stay within that budget mm -hmm. and where can people go though Sarah to find out more information from you in regards to all their financial questions so on especially in credit repair you can go to sarahlcook.com forward slash credit repair and have some great detail details there great thank you so much thank you. this is really important we got to keep it in check right yeah so that time of year we can all go the, and, and yeah. paying in January yeah and paying in January <laughs> and then we don't want to start the year no. like that okay thank you so much Sarah